This video is my review slash testimonial for my training with Mystery and Baxter. So I took their residential training in Bali. Five days I was there with them and I did learn a lot of things. Before I went into that training, I watched some of their videos. I already know a general idea of what their teaching looks like. But after I spent five days with them, I would say the videos and the books are nothing compared to being there face to face and learn from them in person. If you go there and you see how they carry themselves, every eye contact, every tonality and the body language of their presence is being tweaked to be the best version of themselves to attract the girls, attract high quality guys. And you can learn from osmosis. You can be a sponge and suck in their energy. Sometimes you don't even need to ask a lot of questions. Even though I did ask a lot of questions, it did really solve a lot of my problems. Another thing books and videos cannot help you with is your own questions. Before I went into there, I have so many questions in mind and those questions can only be answered by them in person or their mentoring program online. There's something really incredible about this. You have to know they are in the game for more than 20 years, 25 years, and uh, they are most famous, most popular teachers in the industry. And they have a really good teacher and student ratio. For us, the first three days, there was only three students. Another student joined us at the last two days and there are two teachers, two MPUAs. They're there with you the entire day. We went to restaurants together. We went to beach club together. We had a really cool bonding experience. I really get to know them as a person and making friends with them. When I read the book, when I watched the videos, sometimes I would be skeptical. I would be like, is this for real? Is this a scam? Do they really apply what they teach into their own behaviors. Sometimes I would have doubts, but after being there with them, you would see whether it's Baxter or Mystery, they are so passionate about the game. They have already been in this industry for decades now, and now they're still so passionate. And Mystery really loves teaching. I would say Mystery loves his teaching, loves his student more than his business. <laughs> Otherwise, he would have like 15 students in his residential other than only three, four students in his residential. He really enjoys his time teaching. He enjoys talking to the students, spread his knowledge to the next generation. That's just his passion. The way I see him is just he breaks down everything into really small details. He's just like a mad scientist in pickup. Before I trained with them, I was also trained by other coaches. So I was more focusing on the natural side, being present to the moment and the high vibration energy. But the downside of that is that they don't have a structure. Mystery, Baxter, they have a structure. They teach you what exact things you need to do to get the girls, to make your guy friends like you. All the demonstrations, every tonality that they have in their routines, in their sound bites, you can just be there and absorb them all. It's like when you spend time with them, it's inevitable that you're gonna soak in so many energy that they put out. And for me, I'm not a native English speaker. I've only been speaking English every day for less than two years. And I also learn English from them. And I learn the correct way, the way that I speak English to get me the most success in my social life, whether it's to build a social circle with guys or get beautiful girls. I can just mimic them. Everything that they say, every little details, they say it one time and I repeat. And that's how I improve my uh, delivery, improve my presentation. Even better, they have so many other things that they add into the training. Before this training, I only know Mystery Method, the book. Now it's Mystery 2.0. Not only he would teach you the techniques, the routines, but on also, he will give you these five key principles that you would uh, be aware of and uh, internalize. So it's also very principle-based. He also gave us this 30 proficiency checklist in game. So you can micromanage, you can look into every step, every detail of your game, and you can place a check mark in front of it if you think you have acquired them. So it's very in detail, very nuanced 
explanation in how to be successful with women. And before I go to Bali, I was thinking, is this going to be a good place for me to train my social skills? Because I've never been there. So I have a lot of doubts in the venue. However, after these five days, they have taken us to some of the most beautiful venues that's available on this planet. The beach clubs, the nightclubs, some of them have really big volume. So it's packed with tourists, with Russians, with uh, girls from all over the world and Northern Europeans. They really like to take us to the places that Northern European girls and Russian girls go to. Some of the places has huge volume. Some of the places has a small venue but has higher quality girls. Higher quality girls go there and you can really learn how to work the entire room. You use your indirect approach and uh, make friends with all the people in the room. And that's something that I haven't experienced yet. And also, as I said, I've been trained by other coaches, Chinese coaches too, and American coaches. But the mystery, he would be in set with you. Baxter, he will be there and uh, teach you the dance routines. I see mystery in set. He was my wingman. I bring girls to him. And we would also sit in the same table. And I would witness how he interacts with the girls. If you take the training with them, you would be like that too. You will tell whether they are the real deal or not. I've seen them have uh, very intimate behaviors <laughs> with the girls. And that's why I say they are still so passionate about the game. Sometimes when you treat your hobby as a business, as a work, you don't enjoy it that much. You would be focusing on the marketing in getting the clients. But for them, they're still very passionate about the girls. They're passionate about the arts in interacting with the girls. For the seminars, I would take notes and I would go out to nightclubs and they would appoint girls for me to approach. I didn't know I would be in set with Mystery, with Baxter and see them attract other girls and see other girls like them and see how they interact with the girls. That's something you can never learn from a book and the videos. And despite all that, the best way to tell whether their training is effective is where their students have success. For me, the first night, I closed a girl. And then later on, I've successfully invited the girl to hang out with us. I was not on a date with the girl, but to invite the girl to travel 30 minutes to our venue and be there for our social proof. To help Mystery to get his social proof, I invited two groups of girls. The first group is a two set of Indonesian girls that I met on the first night. After the Indonesian girls left, I invited this Russian girl that I met that afternoon at the beach. Because the girls want to hang out with me, the girls like me, I would say their training really had an effect on me. One of the students, he does not have that many experience with the girls. From the beginning, I saw him really awkward with the girls. I really doubted whether this guy can improve, whether this guy can be in the set for 5-10 minutes. But at the third day, at the fifth day, this guy has brought back girls to mystery. And the girl was giggling. The girl thinks he's funny. Even though all his interactions are not that advanced, but I would say for him, that's a huge leap. If you are only being positive, being natural, and don't have any structures, and if you teach that to this guy, I would doubt that he would improve this much in such short period of time, which is only three days, five days. I see him already improved a lot. And even though many people aim for the intimate behaviors with the girls, the F close. But mystery is focusing on getting the girl's heart, make the girl really like you. Because for me, I've had that as well. Many girls, even if they had sex with me, not necessarily they would stay in my life and hang out with me time after time. And that's something that frustrated me. And something that mystery taught me is this seven hours theory. He believes that to have solid game, you have to spend seven hours with the girl. And that's how he interacts with all his girls. And that makes his skin and all the things that he teaches me not sleazy at all, but very focusing on the experience of the girl. You would be focusing on the feedback of the girl, how she is comfortable with that, and you move on to the next phase. And before that, I would be focusing on the same day lay. I would go for the pool, go for the clothes, on the first day that I meet the girl. And that also creates a lot of pressure on me. I'm not quite sure I like that as well. And now Mystery clarified that 
for me. It's not about how soon you can get the girl's body, but if you have a solid game, you have a solid interaction with that girl. And oftentimes, if you spend so much energy into that girl, that is a high quality girl. And he would teach us to focus in on getting the high quality girl and how to keep that girl in our lives. And that's something that many other coaches that I learned from do not teach. Now I've finished my five days training with them, I have a much more clearer image of the path that, that I'm gonna be on in the next few months, next few years. Now I know how to work on my materials, how to work on my cheat sheet, and also I have less burden because now I have my materials down. That would be the things that I enjoy saying, would be my own material and that will be congruent to my current emotional state. And if I have that down, I would not be relying on whether I was in a good mood, whether I'm in the flow state to come up with creative things to say because I already have the materials. And I can always have the option to come up with new materials, new stories, new routines at that moment on that day. But I would not be nervous if I don't have that because I already have my cheat sheet that I already know would work. So I would have less pressure to practice this week after week. And because I have that, in my upcoming pickup artist journey, I would be more motivated to go out and practice this stuff, practice every step, every details, week after week, because I know what to practice now. And after their training, not only I take away their teaching, I take away all the knowledge, but also I get to make friends with them. And that would be answer my future questions. If I have more questions, I can ask them on WhatsApp and they can answer that using a voice message. And Mystery has also introduced me to his friends, to this really cool guy in LA. And he would give me advice on how to improve my style, how to get some hair tattoo, and how to do LASIK eye surgery and all the other, uh, and all kinds of advice on my style. And that's a friend that Mystery introduced me to. And also, if you take training with them, you would have the opportunity to make cool new guy friends too. For instance, I have one fellow student who is a very famous DJ in his country, and he has lots of followers on his Instagram. So it's really cool to hang out with him. And also, there would be Mystery Baxter's friends that come visit him in the nightclubs. Some of them are business owners, just in general, high quality males. Some guys just approach Baxter because he look cool. He has a peacock item hanging on his clothes. And that guy who approached Baxter that night has two modeling agencies in Bali. So you get the chance to make cool new guy friends too. And after witnessing all that, I would say that's what solid game looks like. Not only you attract the girls that you like, but also the cool guys would like to hang out with you. And you treat everyone with respect. Whether it's guys in the set, uh, average girls in the set, you treat everyone with respect. And that concludes my review, my testimonial for Baxter Mystery Bali Residential. I remember when, but do you think it was when you were a child? I don't, I don't know if I started when I was a child, but maybe I, I imitate someone. Maybe. Imitate? Yeah. Who? I just imitate once. And what are you going to do now? What are you going to decide to do now? Right now. Pay attention to Pause is work. Slow it down. More time to think. To be aware of if I'm stutter. Yes. Yeah, be, always be aware and uh, fix it by myself. Yes. Can I tell you something? Maybe uh, record myself. Can I tell you something? Yeah. You already sound better. It already sounds better. 200% better already. That's what you need to fight. That's it.
Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Good. Maybe try a set like that now. For good measure. You can always do one at the airport. <laughs> hey guys, it's Mystery calling you from Bali, Indonesia. I'm in paradise. Sometimes you have to grind to find. And we found our bubble of love. The next bubble of love will be in Las Vegas. And you are invited. I'm going to teach the elegant art of the cold approach pickup to a small select group of men ready to train with me. Are you one of them? If you have interest in learning from me this year in 2020, then give me a contact. We've got a lot to talk about. I'll catch you up to speed in a game I absolutely love, the cold approach pickup.